Hi guys! Okay, so I was going to make this into a story, but it might it's going to be a little bit longer than um, my story is going to be. So I just want to make it into a, a quick IGTV. And also, it's probably no harm having this on my IGTV anyway, um, because it might just give some people a few tips. So most people who know me know that I am a massive supporter of sustainable fashion. Huge, huge, huge. Super anti-plastic, super supportive of sustainable living, super supportive of uh, sustainable fashion. Okay, so... I just went <laughs> to do my first uh, post-lockdown thrifting session, which was freaking awesome. It was amazing. I just posted on my story. Go back and have a look at it. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, I didn't do a huge amount of shopping, but I wanted to buy everything in every store. Literally everything in every store. But anyway, I mainly go to the Red Cross Retail and Oxfam in Enniskillen. They're the two. I tend to find the best stuff in there in Enniskillen, but it's just kind of my, my style, I guess. Um... So why do I shop in thrift stores? Okay, the concept of um, snobbery around thrift stores is bye-bye, 1950s are calling, they want their freaking opinion back, okay? That is way gone, not 1950s. I don't think they even had that concept in the 1950s. But we, in 2020, should not be making fast fashion our main priority when we go clothes shopping. Why? Two reasons. Two, two main big proper reasons. Okay, first one is that it is not sustainable to shop fast fashion. It's just not. That is why sustainable fashion is not fast fashion. That's why there are two different things. Fast fashion is not sustainable. It is not good for the planet. It drains the planet of water. Um, the fumes created as incredible amounts of clothes are created on a ridiculous basis. Um, it is so damaging to the environment. There is the shipping involved in transporting all those clothes literally all over the world because nothing is made locally. Um, most of it is made in Asia and then shipped all over the world, okay? It is not sustainable for the planet. If you look up the top 10, 5 reasons uh, for global warming, fast fashion comes up in that. The fashion industry is horrific, for global warming, not good. Really, really, really not good, okay? So it is not sustainable. That is why sustainable fashion is not used in the same hashtag as fast fashion. And that's why boycott fast fashion is such a trending hashtag, okay? It's not sustainable for the environment. It is bad, a lot of fast fashion contains a lot of plastic. Um, it is drained loads of rivers and lakes and all that kind of stuff because they've been creating like growing cotton in crazy crazy uh speeds and they mean like just doing crazy stuff to the planet so environmentally bad human rights number two the people who work in the fa fast fashion industry the people at the top they don't give a shit about the people at the bottom of the train they do not care they don't care. They have horrific working working conditions. They get paid squat. Like, I mean, they get paid crap. Um, they have horrific, yeah, they have bad working conditions, really, really badly paid. They usually work ridiculously long hours. Like, they could be working 16 hours a day, um, seven days a week. Like, they have really bad working conditions, okay? So, what you want to be doing is when you're shopping in a thrift store, you are supporting um, international funds to help these communities get out of that needing to work for absolutely crappy pay you're helping feed people you're helping with aid i buy a lot from the red cross i love supporting the red cross sending aid all over the world um it is massive 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 supporting um oxfam making sure the kids are fed like thrifting is not just good for the environment it is good for people you are helping people there's also an awful lot of sustainable fashion brands out there and a huge portion of those like tons of sustainable fashion brands part of their ethos is actually to give to charities give a percentage of their profits to charities to help um particularly women and children in communities where they are having to work in the fast fashion industry they're helping with education so they can get better jobs they're helping to teach them um how to improve their lives and how to better their lives for their children as well okay so by shopping with sustainable brands you are doing so much good in the world by supporting fast fashion you are supporting a system that is detrimental to human rights and treats people like garbage in a way that you would not dream of being treated okay 
like even the factory that I don't know if it was closed down or there was a mass investigation going on. Um, I think it was, was it in Manchester? Anyway, in England. I don't know why Manchester is in my head. That could be totally wrong. So do not quote me on that. Uh, but there was the factory over in England um, that there was a huge investigation going on because even in England where there are laws that are supposed to protect people in the working environment weren't even getting paid minimum wage to work. And that was under Boohoo, right? The black brand that everybody loves, right? I have to admit, there was a time I absolutely loved Boohoo. That was one of the first brands that I cut out when I started learning um, about the fast fashion industry. There's a lot of them out there. Boohoo is a bad one to support. Misguided, bad one to support. Um, there's pre-mark and pennies. Stay the freak away from them, right? If it is really, really cheap, it's probably not paying people very well. The humanitarian cost, um, they're the ones who are paying the price. Okay, so just think about that when you're doing your shopping. I'm not trying to just, I'm not trying to be preachy. Um, there's a lot of very heartfelt reasons as to why I do not support the fast fashion industry. It's not just bad for the planet. It is bad for the people who actually work in it as well. Um, it's, it's just, it's soul destroying to even think about it. So supporting brands that um, give back and supporting thrift stores that give back is the way to go if you need to buy clothes. <laughs> okay, um, this kind of went on longer than I anticipated to, it to go. If anyone has questions, please, 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 please let me know. Um, I'm a huge supporter of all things sustainable, all things um, healthy living. So yeah, reach out if you have any questions. Um, bottom line, if you need to buy clo new clothes, if you need to buy clothes, try it at a thrift store first. That is what I will say. Um, and even just search the hashtag sustainable fashion on Instagram and you will find sustainable brands. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But the brands are out there. The people are out there who want to help and who want to give and who want to share. Um, and it is a movement that is huge and is growing every single day. So get on that bandwagon because that is a train you want to be on. Um, you don't want to still be on the fast fashion train when that train crashes. You really, really don't. And it is slowing down big time so have an amazing fabulous day everybody i'm gonna go um i hope everyone has a good one i hope this has been helpful share it please 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 do share um because it's something that so many people don't actually even know about um and the more people who know about this the better have a fabulous day everybody and chat y'all later